and Jackie back with our monthly card template making class. This is what, number four in four. the series. So if you're just finding this for the first time, make sure you go back and watch the first three. Because after this one, now, let's see, four times four is 16. You're supposed to help me math. <laughs> I was waiting for you. <laughs> no, I was waiting for oh, you. Awesome. <laughs> so after this class, because it's the fourth one, you will have 16 different card making templates if you've been following along and making them. So your shoebox is starting to get full. And then remember, whenever you sit down to make a card, flip through your shoebox. That gives you all those different ideas with different layouts. So you're not just making a plain, boring, fold and half card. So we are excited to bring you four new templates this month. Let's go ahead. Let's flip the camera down and let's put let's Dave to work. Templates. All righty. Alrighty, are you ready for template 13? Yes. Volume four, Let's but do this. we're numbering them in order as we go. So normal card base, I'm eight and a half by that. five and a half. I you know, know how to fold. You know how to fold. You've gotten really good at folding. Kind of like doing laundry, just a little stiffer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you can set that aside. We have a piece of designer series paper that is three and four and a quarter. And it's going to go on a layer that's three and an eighth by four and three eighths. So DSP three by four and a quarter, and that layer is three and an eighth by four and a three eighths. We like those eighths, just an eighth bigger on it. And then that's going to glue right down to the middle of the cardstock, eyeball center right there. And then I'm going to give you another strip of designer series paper. Most of these layouts really focus on designer series paper. Apparently. Yeah. And that is a four and, qu four and a quarter by one. And it's just going to go. It's going right on the middle, Right it? across the middle, just like you were holding it there. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. And you even flipped it over so we see both sides. Or we see that side of it. Good there. job. And then for the focal layer, we're just using a two and a half inch circle. Um, and again, with all these templates, remember that focal layer could be anything. It could be any size or shape. Um, so don't limit yourself, but we've just got a two and a half inch circle. And then this time we're not going to stick insides in our cards because we've been doing that on all the other ones. So by now you should know we put either a four by five and a quarter in the inside or a three and three quarters by five um, with a layer between um, underneath it. But the tutorial does list those. So if you're unsure of the inside measurements, check one of the other videos because we did them on all of them. Now, I'm going to show you my cards. That's kind of our drill now. Mine are pretty. His, we're using up old designer series paper and colors that don't match. And so here's my first one. And you can see how I followed the template. I just added my greeting on there. And, and then in the inside, we've just put that four by five and a quarter. And then don't forget to make your envelopes pretty. <laughs> And then the second card, um, here, instead of using designer series paper, I use cardstock and I embossed it. So remember with all these templates, you know, designer series paper can be cardstock, cardstock can be designer series paper, mix and match. I did use a circle again for my focal layer. And for the inside, we just added a piece of white along with our envelope. So there are two samples of our template number 13. Now remember with the tutorial, we do put the list of all the products and then step-by-step -step instructions for making both of the featured cards and then all the measurements and so forth so that you can make yourself some templates. And remember on your templates as you make them, grab yourself a Sharpie or a marker and write right on here all those different sizes. That way, when you stick these all in a shoebox and you're ready to create, you can just flip through them, pull them out, and have all of your measurements right there. So that's the first one, which is number 13. Let's move on to number 14. So there's your card base, our normal five and a half by eight and a half. Remember, card bases can be five and a half by eight and a half, or they can be four and a quarter by 11. Gives us the same end result. <laughs> Now this one's probably gonna confuse you a little bit. You got two okay, pieces there. Okay, where's this going? Oh, there's two pieces. <laughs> and they are both five by three and three quarters. Yes, they are. Don't glue them together. <laughs> okay, I won't. <laughs> we are gonna go ahead and on the top layer, which in this case, we're gonna use the crushed curry, we're gonna use a circle punch. And I want you to punch as much of that corner out as you can. As much, kind of like that? Yeah, you wanna just, so it's gonna, yeah, perfect. 
Now you get to glue it on to this. No, we're not using the hit. Like ice cream cone. Oh, I was gonna say it looks like a ball diamond. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna glue those two together. Okay, got it. That. Now the purpose of this card is kind of a peekaboo card. That white layer underneath is where you can stamp your focal image, or you could layer something there. Um, but it's just kind of fun having that circle that's coming off. I just so grab the glue underneath that. Uh, See, and that's why we use green glue, because then you can slide it around. There. There you go. You got glue on your fingers? Yes. It's on my pants now. I got well, rid of it. Good thing you do laundry. So there, <laughs> there, there is your layer that's going to go under that. So, put so this that, goes on this. Uh-huh. And that one is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. So it's just that eighth bigger than your, we're going to call that one layer, because we put two pieces together for a layer. Those colors don't match so good. Boy, that's Did really... you pick some, pick them out yourself? That's pretty nice, isn't it? <laughs> good. This is why we use up old card stock. Because remember, this is just a template. Not and then the that's going to go. That goes on this this yeah, way, right? It's just going to go right on your card. Oh, well, that's simple. Well, I know. Everything we do is simple. So, and then you'll have number 14 in the box. That's 14 that different cards there. you can make for me now. And I'll make them all this color, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's our template. Now let's bring in some real cards. Oh, actually, I want to show my template. I know. There. So here's the first one that I did. And you can see here, here's my white piece that's peeking out. And I stamped our little girl. Um, and then this, I did some, what did I use? Oh, a stencil on here with my blending brush for the background. And then I... I'm starting to really like this white on white look. So we layered with white. So if you look, there's white, white, and white. And then there's the inside. We did some stenciling there along with on the envelope. So just a nice, soft, relaxing card. And then for this one, I turned it in this direction. Because again, all of these templates could go either direction. And so here, our top layers designer series paper, actually on both of these, I look it looks like I used the, um, a die to cut out that circle. So you can use a punch or a die, and you can see the pecan pie underneath instead of white, but then I just popped up my focal point on there, and then my black layer. This one's for you. Every day with you is another adventure. There we go. <laughs> and I didn't stamp the inside, <laughs> and there's my envelope. Okay, so there's template number 14. Okay, on to number 15. So there is your card base, eight and a half by 11. And this time we're gonna pull in the paper trimmer because you gotta do a little cutting here. Oh, okay, slide that I over. can do that. So I'm gonna give you a piece that is three by three and you're gonna cut it into one inch strips. Oh, that's and, just a little dimension this way. Yeah, and- It's kind of a pain. As you cut them, you want to make sure you keep them in order, like as if, you know, your three by three is put oh, back so together. Oh, we're going to put them back together, aren't we? We're going to put them back together. Of course. So we want that pattern to be continuous. Um, oh, man. Going, so, there so we that go. That has to stay yeah, so this away, off here somehow. Somehow. <laughs> And if you mix, got it. there you go. If you mix them up, then you got to make believe you have a puzzle. There you there. go. So that's right. Okay. Then I am going to give you three pieces of beautiful cardstock, mm. and these are going to be what are those? One and an eighth and by this goes three on here, right? and an eighth. Yes. So we're going to layer each one um, onto a piece that's one and an eighth by three and an eighth. And again, as you're doing that, kind of keep them in order so you don't mess up your puzzle. <laughs> we got quite a few parts and pieces on this one. There's a lot of parts and pieces here. Three, six, seven, eight. There's ten. And I got to keep them in order. And you got to keep them in order. <laughs> you never did like puzzles, did you? Certainly won't want to make an ugly template. <laughs> okay, then just kind of set those aside. Bring our card back in here. And then I'm going to give you two pieces. We have the five and three by three and quarter, or five times so that's three. That's going to go on this, I bet. Yep, five by three and three quarters. <laughs> that's a lot of threes. And then it's going to go on a five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. Now, if you like the written tutorial, and um, like I said, we do have that available. Yeah, that's just going to go on there. 
Everybody who purchases at least a $50 order in our online store this month will get emailed the tutorial for free. Otherwise, we have it available as well. Um, and you can check down in the video description will be a link over to the blog post um, that will have all the details on the tutorial. But that so goes there. Oh, that does. That? That's going to go right across like that. Oh, it's the same length as a little white piece. Yeah, you know what? Because we have such pretty people. Oh, yeah. We'll flip it over. probably do that. It's going to be really... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Yucky. So this one's five by three quarters. I just realized two of our cards today kind of have a strip going off yeah. the middle. And then I'm going to help you with some dimensions Ooh. here, but we can't mix them up. Whoops. I pulled that thing off without <laughs> getting this thing to stick. So here, that one's sticky already. Oh, now I'm going to mix them up. Okay. So this, I think, is the middle one. Put the middle one on first. You're going to just center first, it. I've got to get this thing off there. S center it. About like that. About like that. Okay. And then that one's That's on the, the left. left one. So just leave a little bit of a space, a little tiny Something space in like between them. That looks good. Mm -hmm. And then you have the right one. All in the correct order. All in the correct order. Never fails. There you go. Now it's ready to just add any kind of a greeting, or if you want to just focus on a note card and you've got pretty paper that coordinates really nice, you could even leave it just like that. So let's see what I... Oh, you've got glue on my table. There's that one. <laughs> That's not all I got. <laughs> so here is my first one with the daisies. And you can see how we've got that pattern going across. And then I just added a greeting. And then on the inside, I have a five and a quarter by four. And I added just another piece of designer series paper for in the inside in my envelope. And then this one, again, same thing. There's our pattern. You can see how, you know, the pattern just goes off from the papers. And all I did was add a greeting. So super simple card, especially when you've got that pretty designer series paper to use. So there is number 15, our third one for this class. So let's stick these aside. We got one more there, Mr. Dave. There we go. There's your normal card base, five and a half by eight and a half. And we're gonna play with strips of designer series paper again. So this time you're getting five pieces. Oh my. And they are four inches by one inch. And we're gonna do Yep, they're going to just go up and down, but we're going to flip them. Hey, good job. So that they're every like other. Like that. Like that. So it's just going to make our background on the card. Okay. Now, when you're putting that many on, the best thing to do is first put one up at the yep. top. At the top. <laughs> and then we're going to, after you do the top, we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. Just to do something like that. Try to get somewhat even spacing between all of them. Now I'll stick that one at the bottom. Something like that. Yep. And then we're going to go back up to the top. We'll do the middle one last. So we'll go top, bottom, top, bottom. So again, these are just four by one inch strips of designer series paper. And this particular paper, we're using the front and the back. But if your paper, you know, you don't like the looks of the front and the back, you instead of cutting all five the same, just cut three of one pattern and two of another pattern. Now, again, you could use cardstock. Okay, this doesn't have to be designer series paper. This would be pretty with cardstock. Um, you could even emboss the cardstock for some dimension. There, that came out pretty close. There you go. Now we have three pieces that are going to put together for our focal layer. So our top one is going to be that goes two, on that. Yep, two by three and a half. So this is the focal layer. This is where you would stamp or layer onto. And we're going to put that on a piece that is two and a quarter a little crooked there. by three and a quarter. My fingers are getting really sticky. <laughs> so we got two and a half by three and or two by three and a half, two and a quarter by three and three quarters. And then we're going to stick that on one more layer that is two and three quarters like that. by four and a quarter. So a bigger border than what we normally do on this one. And when you see the finished card, you'll see how nice this looks. Perfect. And let's, let's put this one on with dimensionals because I like using dimensionals. There. I'll put them on, you peel them off. How's that? Teamwork. <laughs> it's going to take me all day. There we go. 
One more. Oh, that one came right off. Now, now for my go? cards, Just... I kind of put it over to the right. Like this? Yeah, like you want to see some of the... I'd come this way a little bit. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little more. Oh, right there. Instead of being right in the middle, we just kind of bump it over. Oh, look how crooked that is. <laughs> now it's straight. Kinda. There you go. So you can see here on my card, this time I stamped my envelope, but you can see here how using the three different size layers really looks nice. There's my designer series paper. Just added a greeting on it. And then, of course, on the inside, we just put a stamped piece. So that's that one. And then here, this one's kind of bright and colorful. Again, you can see the designer series paper. I stamped and used a die cut on that focal layer and added a greeting. So like with all these cards too, on that focal layer piece, you can get as fancy as you want. You can just stamp on it, you can layer on it, but this is your basic template. So there, I think we have them all That's done. Good. We have our four templates for this month. So remember, as you make your templates, write your measurements on here so that you know what those are, um, and then keep them together. If you follow along, you'll have 16 of them now. If you've missed our other classes, go back and find them. We got a playlist set up, or we also have them over on the blog post for you. And then again, here are the cards that I made to show you how easy it is to use those templates to create with once you want to make a real card. So thanks for watching, everybody. We hope you love this class as much as we love bringing it to you. But more than anything, we hope it's useful and that you make templates and you use them and you pop cards in the mail to bless family and friends. So we'll be back again next month with four more templates. We hope you join us then. So for now, stampers, have a stamp happy day. Bye, everyone. See ya. Bye.